So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, we have a graph here. Looks like we have an inequality graph based upon the shading to the right of this line. <clears throat> the question says the shaded region shown represents the solutions to which inequality. Okay, so I can kind of look at this graph, right? just extend the line of this graph. And let's see if we can figure out the equation for that line. So I can see that the y, so anytime I'm looking for the equation of a line, I'm going to use y equals m x plus b. So I see that the y-intercept is here at 3, right? The graph crosses the y-axis at 3. And I see that I have an x-intercept here at negative 1. So I'm going to use those two points to determine my slope. So from negative 1, I'd rise 1, 2, 3, and run one time to get to my y-intercept. So that means that my slope, so m is equal to 3, right? 3 over 1. Because slope is rise over run, over run, so m is equal to 3. b is also equal to 3, because we saw that that's where it crosses the y-axis. Therefore, my equation should be y equals 3x plus 3. And in fact, because I'm shading, right, and because I have a solid line, it should be y is greater than, or I'm sorry, y is actually not greater than, it's the exact opposite, y is less than or equal to 3x plus 3. How do I know it's less than? Because in terms of y values, right, the shading is all going below this line, right? All the y values below 3 are what are included here. Um, going higher than the line is what's not shaded, right? So in terms of y, in terms of vertical, in terms of the verticalness of this graph, um, I'm shading below the line. So here's my equation. So all I need to do is figure out which one of these matches with, um, with this here. So I can convert each of these into y is less than or equal to mx plus b format. And I can do that with this first one by subtracting 3x from both sides. And I'd get negative y is less than or equal to negative 3x minus 3. And then I can multiply the whole thing by negative 1 to make it a positive y. And I get positive y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 3, which looks pretty good except for the greater than or equal to. Right? So anytime you multiply an inequality by negative, whether multiply by negative or divide by negative, your inequality symbol must flip. Right? So that's, that's the reason why that's gone, which tells me that choice B must be the correct answer because choice B looks just like choice A, except for the symbol is, uh, starts off as greater than, which means it will end up being less than. Right? So if we just do the math here, minus 3x minus 3x, I have negative y is greater than or equal to negative 3x minus 3. And again, when I multiply everything by negative 1, this becomes y is less than or equal to positive 3x plus 3, which is exactly what I wanted it to be. So the answer is choice B here.